Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's have a quick update on the Bitcoin price because after reaching uh, this uh, fib line here of $10,040, this high potential rejection area where we could top out, Bitcoin is seeing a little dump here and we have to see if we're gonna create now a new support here between 9,400 to this area that we are right now because we are in a critical point. But the good thing is that we closed the CME chart on $10,030. So in theory, wherever we are going during the weekend on Monday, we're gonna have a new future gap up to this uh, price point here of $10,030. So let's see where the price is heading to. I'm still looking for a good long opportunity, especially right now that we are touching the 20 moving average in the four hour. And also in the one hour, we are completely oversold in the stochastic and RSI. So I think right now it could be a good opportunity to open some long positions in case that you still think that we could go again to test this fib line here $10,040 close the CME gap immediately and potentially also break through here this potential $10,500 main resistance target we have now the stochastic in oversold territory and the RSI right at the 50 level here in the four hour time frame so this makes me even more bullish and if we have a look on the Bollinger Band you can can see that we completely retrace back down into the middle area and we're seeing a little bounce already from it we had a bearish cross here in the four hour in the macd so this is a bit bearish maybe we have to wait till we're gonna have another bullish cross or at least till we're gonna finish to play out here this bearish cross in the macd but it looks like that we're going to test maybe here the 20 moving average again maybe even a week down here towards the main support here at 9390 this is the old resistance line which now should be acting as a support so watch out for this level here because in case that we could wick down here we should stop and not go below in case that we're gonna trade again below 9390 then we would have lost what we created here and we could be in for a potential bigger dump towards uh, 9k and lower and if we open up the daily time frame here you can see why I think in case that we're gonna lose those supports we could drop that low is because the 20 daily moving average is at $8,600 and this is where the price usually retrace back down to test and bounce from it and even if we wick below the 200 daily now at $8,000 should be still holding as a very strong support in theory so even if we're gonna see a bigger dump during the weekend watch out for those levels but I think already now it is not a bad idea to start to open up at least some small longs here at the 20 moving average in the four hour but based here on the daily chart we could even go down here to 8600 also remember that we have the stochastic and ori sign complete overbought territory so a retracement back down into the middle line here to the 50 level in the rsi could be healthy and could be possible so watch out here for this moving average here the eight thousand six hundred dollar this is going to be very important in case that we're going to see a bigger sell-off during the weekend and possibly even next week when the halvening event will take place and if we have a look also on the bollinger band you can see that we could retrace back down into the middle area here between 9240 even down to 8360 very easily so here based on the bollinger band this is still possible and wouldn't mean that we're gonna crash completely down to previous levels towards 6k and lower so as long as we're remaining above this 8k area and the MACD still shifted to the upside here in the daily everything should be good to go to the upside and if we go over to the weekly time frame also here you can see that we are just starting to trade above the 50 in the RSI stochastic is not yet overbought and we are above the 20 weekly moving average so everything is still looking fine in the bigger time frames and as i told you we don't have big future gaps below of us so this time this pump that we are seeing so far is still a very sustainable good pump we don't have any bigger cme gaps below so everything is pointing that we should see a big run to the upside still to come possibly after the hardening or maybe even after a little dump but it will come for sure the question is only when are we gonna see before another dump or are we gonna skyrocket from next week on because remember 
even if we would dump now during the weekend we're gonna have a future gap up to ten thousand dollar and this of course also would be very bullish even though we're going down it would be the perfect opportunity to long or buy back into bitcoin for a very cheap price so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now this was a quick update maybe i'm gonna go live later so if you want to join please follow me also over on twitch you find the link down below here and also please join the free discord trading chat is also down below here the link is completely for free and everyone is welcome and if you need a bybit femex prime xpt or bityard trading exchange account you can use my sign up links because with my links you can get some rewards and sign up bonuses my favorite exchange is bybit so usually i'm trading always over on a bybit up to 100x and they also offer a very nice rewards program in case that you still don't have an account just use my link and you can claim some free money over here and you can trade with that money completely riskless so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye